All right, people, we back with another episode. And today we got one of the uh, the artists that, you know, I met him up here at the Mix Factory. And I'm, I'm going to keep it real. When I first heard his music, I'm like, damn, who is that nigga down there recording? And he was recording with one of the engineers, Troy. I think you remember that. My dog. Yeah, yeah sure. Troy. So, you know, Troy was like, man, you need to hear my man. So you, I think you had left out. And then when you came back, that's when we actually linked. And I was the, sing, like, the singing joint. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. So On my light skin shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so for the people who might not know, I'm going to let you go ahead and introduce yourself and let these people know what you were about. For sure. Uh, Lex Fenoy, a.k.a. Lex Avelli. Follow me on the gram, Lex Fenoy, Lex Avelli. You know, follow me on the book. I don't know how long I'm going to have that shit, but just basically I'm on the gram. T tap in with me. All social platforms, we working. You know, shout out to my DJ, DJ OC. Shout out to um, the, the soon to be cast and the people already got casted for the new web series, Destiny. Um, and shout out to the Clover line I just dropped. We gonna get into all that though, man. We're oh yeah, definitely, lessons. definitely. We about to get into all of that. But, you know, let's let's talk about, like, you starting off making music. Like, what were you, what did you grow up listening to? Man, that's crazy. Like, cause when, when I was younger, like, like my OG was a booster and shit, uh -huh. and CDs was the wave. So it's like she, st we we had CDs on deck. Yeah. So it's like we uh, hundreds and hundreds of CDs from the Arrested Development, Mariah K, to Rock shit, to Million and Vanilli. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The Spice Wood, the to the Pop, to all the early shit before people. St I heard the Easy E. Yeah. The first Easy E before the Easy Does It. When he was, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I ain't old like that, but you know, I started yeah. young at this shit. You know what I'm saying. Right. So. Okay. Yeah, wavy with the music, so that's why I listen to everything, man. All right. Let's talk. Let's talk about when you when you first when you first started making music. Like, when did you like first record your first track? Was you in high school? Was you in middle school? Elementary? That's funny you you said that, but. It was, I was probably about eight or nine in that too short, getting it, getting it while that game is good. And then they had, I, my sister had a little karaoke machine and it had the single on there and it had the flip side where you could do the instrumental. And that was my first time in the studio and a little karaoke, you know what I'm saying? Recorded myself, played it back. Yeah, you know, cause you know how you can put the tape next to it. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't even got blank tapes, you could put the little tissue in the top part of the tape. It's that back in the day shit. You could record over a real tape, right. but you know, Okay. And the karaoke machine, that was the first time. Okay. Eight, right. eight and nine. Okay. All right, let's talk about, so when, let's start talking about when you start taking music serious. So when people was like, hold on, Lex, that shit you made, man, that shit sound like it could be on the radio. It sound like you can be out here. When did you start taking it serious? Man, you know, I always took it serious. When the first time I rapped it, somebody was like, man, that shit was kind of sweet. It was like, oh, yeah, it's power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I ever rap for a girl, or you know what I'm saying, I rap when I was bored to keep people keep shit popping, you know, when I was a teenager, but serious, like, lucratively, it's like anything else. I never chose to monetize it. I just did what I love, and somebody was like, look, why's they split, whoop de whoop I got a CD, burn out, burn, CD, burn CDs. This the beginning, though. Right. Burn CDs, and I went from there, and I ghost right. Now I'm doing it, I'm streaming. Now I just, you know, when I do shows, you know, breaking nigga off, that's, that's, that's work. So yeah. it's like, really, the, the, the monetization of the, of the music it, 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 is... You know, it's mandatory, but it's not really imperative. You know what I'm saying? Because the art form is so diverse and so so broad, I can branch off into whatever I want based on that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because once you get a mic, you know, that's the power. You know, you can, not even a mic. Like, once you know how to speak, you can speak anything into existence. You know what I'm saying? Because when God first created the world in the first chapter, in the first verse, what did he do? He said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's deeper than rap. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's power, life and death is in the power of the tongue. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Well, let's talk about this, uh, this, this, Give, this Give Thanks project. I see it's, it's out everywhere, right? Right. It got nine tracks on there. Let's talk about, let's talk about it, man. When did you start recording it? And, you know, how, like, what was your mindset when you first started recording it? Like, Give Thanks was like, it, you know, you, when you make music, you kind of get marginalized because it'd be so many people around. Like, man, we need some club bangers. You know, my DJ, he like, we need a club banger, you know what I'm saying? The females want to dance and certain shit. It is like, then was the shit that I that I dropped that was therapeutic for me. You know what I'm saying? That was heartfelt for me. So it was really like a collective of songs. You know what I'm saying? That I decided to do right before Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving and calling it Give Thanks was sort of a marketing strategy 
but it was still um it still correlated to how I felt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Give thanks to what I, I truly want to do. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate me for for what I what what I truly possess as an artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I took that and the only new song I recorded, because I didn't want to put all old songs on there, so I threw portrait on there. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I recorded like a week before we're trying to put it out. I like, man, let me put some new shit. And that's why that one like sonic sounds sonically different. Yeah. You know, and that one more up to date, you know what I'm saying? But over the last year, all them songs was created. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, well, I got to ask, man. I, I see, I've been saying Trap Blessings, man. What the, what that mean, to put me on game? Like, basically, Trap Blessings mean, you know, it's a lot of, you know, a lot of people, for one, it, 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 it take a life of its own. You know, a lot of people hear Trap Blessings. I don't want to marginalize the, the, the brand or the perception that people have when they get the brand because Perception is reality. So if you look at Trap Blessing, like you get in the bag and you taking off, and that's what that is. But when I created it, it was like I was going through a rough stage in my life, you know what I'm saying? And I told myself I could get through it, and I got through it. And I felt like after getting through it, I got blessings. And I was like, shit, I thought I was in a trap. And what I thought was essentially a trap ultimately ended up, you know, being conducive for me mm -hmm. and working out in my favor. So I was like, you know what, shit, Trap Blessings. Then it sounded good, you know? You know, everything I do got to sound good. That's part of being fly. Yeah. But it's always a, 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 a underlying meaning that's more important than the flyness. You know what I'm saying? That's cre that's what I think create good artists. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion, though. Okay. Well, I've, I've been seeing it all over your IG, man. And, you know, I see you guys. I don't know if it's already over with. But I see you as having a, a casting call for your... Uh, you got a web series coming out called Destiny. Called Destiny. It's been... Almost a year in the making, uh -huh. dope. A lot of modifications. You know what I'm saying? Well, keep it just, real, man. Just, Look, I'm, I'm trying to be in the series, man. What I gotta do? Tell, let the people know what they gotta do if they're trying to be in it. Any, like anything else in life, just come and give you 110, percent man, and then we'll go from there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because everything that about how good a person is is about what, you know, how you fit in the moment. You right. know, and I don't want to give people like people who do come. They feel like they're great actors. It's not about life. Ain't about you being great. Like life is about you know timing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, people that's interested, make sure y'all tap in. February 21st, Sunday, cast a call. Bring y'all A game. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got my 100% percent support. Won't be no biases. And it's our respect and love. Trap blessing. Come okay. tap in. All right. Well, what's uh, what, what's the, the Destiny series about? Like, how many episodes is it going to be? Um, um, We kind of up in the air about the episodes, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be long. It's going to be not, not long, like exhausting, but... It's gonna be something y'all can tune into or look forward to. There's gonna be a lot of twists and turns. You know, it's gonna be a good story plot. It's gonna be like A list actors, A list local actors. You know what I'm saying? We all local celebrities and shit. But it's gonna be a lot of, you know, A list local actors that that's doing their thing right now. Shout out to AJ Miller. He just did a movie with Sada Baby. Uh, forgive me for forgetting the name, but uh, tap in, follow him, AJ Miller. You know, he's a great actor. He's gonna be the star of the web series. And um, it's going to be dope. It's about a girl who go through an abusive relationship. And after the abusive relationship, the guy come home. And he he, cha he ultimately changes life. But nobody believe he changed. And it's a lot of stuff that go on in the, in the series that I can't really ex expose right now. But it's going to be worth it. So make sure y'all watch it. If y'all not in it. Even if y'all in it, watch it. And even if y'all don't want to watch it try to come be in it like let's get it you know what yeah. i'm saying it's gonna be great you know, Look, be a part he, of it he just gave y'all the heads up tune yeah. in man so tap in well i want to talk about this man because this this is how i actually met you you know you uh i think when like i like i mentioned at first when i when you first when not when you first came up to the mix factory but when i met you up here you were working on a record man and that's that shit was powerful bro i'm gonna keep it real and then I think after we chopped it up, you said it was going to be on a, a, a EP that you dropping on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Let's talk about that, man. It's called Complicated, right? Absolutely. All right. Let's talk about it. And Compl Complicated is, it really started off as a Valentine's album just because I'm always trying to promote around the time that, you know, I like to give thanks and utilize the holidays that America projected upon us, you know, make it beneficial for us. But, you know, it turned into some real shit. And my real feelings about you know shit you know past relationships, you know future you know future relationships and you know people that I miss and people that I I don't like no more and it's just about it's about real it's about real love and fake love all together because that's what this shit is. Okay. It's complicated. 
So you poured your heart out in there. I put my heart out, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was good or bad, I kept it a buck. Speaking speaking of pouring pouring your heart out, man, let's talk about that heart on your your uh on your sweatshirt. Oh man. yeah, tap in. This is see, it, it it was ultimately supposed to be merch mm -hmm. for the brand. Yeah, I mean, not for the brand. Ultimately supposed to be merch for the album. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? I was working with a couple, you know, my you know, my design team or whatever, and then we thought about it, we like, man, this shit kinda wavy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We might just make this the we'll wop the bam and like this we're gonna push this all through the summer after Valentine's Day over. Yeah. But it's complicated, drippy heart. Even though it's broke, I'm still dripping. You know what I'm saying? That's what the meaning of that is. But come fuck with it, man. Hoodies thirty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Good cotton, polyester. You know what I'm saying? Tap in. For sure. Well all right, man, look. I'm glad to have you on the show, bro. Like, you got anything else that you wanna let the people know about, man? Anything you got coming up? Any I mean ain't no you know, this COVID stuff going on, so the show's been canceled. So let the people know what you got going on, man. They want to keep in touch with you. Yeah, um, I gave y'all the links at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, resilience is key, man. Like, you know, persistent through everything. Like, because at the end of the day, as long as you on earth and you breathing, I don't care if you're in a wheelchair, I don't care if you can't see, deaf, dumb, and blind. You know, you got a chance to change the world. You know what I'm saying? And these is facts, because people who people who, who that was subjected to all of that has. So try blessed and stay motivated. You know what I'm saying? Think 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 positive and know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Try well, blessed. Before we, we get up out of here, man, uh I wanna ask you uh this uh question about your uh that Give Thanks project. I know it was nine songs on there. What's your favorite song that 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 you got on there? Like, what's the one song that people like reach out to you the most about? Portrait. Portrait. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, it's like sometimes when music is old, it's like if, if you put a bunch of new shit, you if you're not growing, you dying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is like a law of nature. So it's like by that being the newest song on the album, it kind of you know it showed growth because I'm definitely not digressing. You know, it showed growth and, you know, and I understand why people feel like the best. So if I wouldn't have put that on there and with the other collective, then I could be like, damn, I wonder which one would have been there. But, you know, they like that one because it's better because, you know, I, I was six, seven months ahead of the rest of the songs and I'm growing daily. Yeah. So they, they fuck with that. And okay. I fuck with That's my favorite, too. Okay. Who produced the track? Uh, damn, I forget who produced the track. Uh... Yeah, you I, got a lot of music, man. I, I know it's probably I know hard I got to... I got a lot of music. And I got a lot of, and I let my manager, you know, handle all the paperwork and all that type of shit. And they put that shit together, and we send the cash up to get the leases, and we go from there. You know, I I develop like when it's people that I got specific relationships with. You know what I'm saying? Then I work with them, and you know, and, and that's how that go. But yeah, one thing I will say, man, I did a lot of research on you, bro, man. You know, a lot of people I know. Hey, I see you do a lot of music, and you was doing. Um, I think you were doing some shows. Was you was you doing Pastor Mike or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, I was with Pastor Core. Yeah, and, Pastor um, Core. I'm sorry. And uh, I actually started being like part of the whole ambiance, like yeah. as far as like the people who won, like you know, my little company. Yeah. You know, um, was printing up the merch. Yeah. Trap blessings was you know was printing up the merch for the um the winners and whatnot. And put, you know, showing them like that's important. Yeah. You know, see, it's, it's a it's a bunch of way. Like everybody think you drop a song, and that's how you get paid. You know that that like them days is kind of kind of over. Like unless you going viral, and you getting a bunch of streams, and you got full autonomy of your music and all the rights. But you know, you got to figure out alternate ways to make money, and that's up to you. Because at us being creators, like like God. Say we created in the image and likeness of God, right? And the first thing he did in the first chapter of the book was create. That means we don't got to wait for nobody else to tell us what we, how we going to make money or how we going to get a bag. So it's like you got to figure out how to monetize your own shit. Because money didn't even exist to a motherfucker. was like, nigga, we could print some shit and have these niggas work for us. Mm -hmm. It didn't, you know, it won't be no more barter system, you know what I'm saying? Nigga can't trade this for this and all that type of shit. They going to have to get this. So it's like you got to operate around that now. Nah. Now, yeah. You gotta be as clever as they was when they made the shit. Mm -hmm. And look, figure out how to make it, make more of it. Look, look, we're gonna have to get you on a, another episode, man, because you're going real deep, man. Yeah, you yeah, gonna, I'm, I'm look, you gonna get us, you gonna get the show canceled before we even get uh, started, man. Don't cancel, don't cancel yeah, but my no, baby, no, that's man. that's that's you know, all real stuff. That's all real stuff, and yeah. we're gonna have to get you on for another episode, man. That's a so bet. I appreciate whenever, you having me though, family. Oh yeah, man. Look, anytime you got something going on, if you got, you know, anything going on, man, hit me up. You always welcome on the show. We coming back with the cash. 
Couple bring the weeks. cast, man. <laughs> bring the cast, man. What's up? Yep, so look, that's the episode, man. Word on the streets with my guy, Lex. Trap yeah. I'm about to post some more of this tequila, though. Yeah. Get with me.